Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. What's going on, everybody? It's Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews here on YouTube. Welcome to holiday 2021, guys. We are fully decked out, ready to go here for the holidays. I think you guys are going to like what you're seeing here right now. It looks like we have everyone jumping into the chat here as we speak. Bus is jumping in with the first Super Chat donation of the night as well. So you should see yourself in lights over here in just a few seconds here, along with all the other lights, Bus. Friday night fun with the one and only Ian. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My heart goes out to you as always. Great to see you guys on here right now. We'll give everybody just a few minutes to uh, log in and get all situated, and uh, then we'll get it going. But it is great to be on here with you guys, and uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. So let's see here. We've got a nice little holiday theme going here, a little snow action in the background. And uh, I figured it would be kind of fun to have something for you guys to look at while I'm doing my thing. There we go, Bus. I appreciate that greatly. And of course, down below, the official sponsors of the channel. Should you guys wish to donate the way Bus does every week? And Bus, again, I really appreciate that. You'll find all the information in the description box down below. Uh, take a look at that there. Super chatting, of course, is available here in the chat. And uh, there are other ways down below in the description box. So check it out. I appreciate the uh, support as always. So let's see who we've got in here right now. And uh, starting off on the very top, I was chatting away, usually the first five minutes or so before I begin. Obviously, you guys can hear me okay and see me okay, right? <laughs> yes, love food like I do. New haircut. Yes, I needed to get one for the longest time, so I'm finally back to my normal self uh, as well. So let's see. We've got Carl Broussard, Lord Darkside, Erna785, our music, 80s, 80s music aficionado. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ben Nguyen, Drew's Food Reviews. You already know what it is. We had a special cat right in the lobby, actually, under the timer there. I was thinking of you, Drew, when I was putting that together. I'm like, this is going to be one that I think that Drew would appreciate uh, for you. Let's see. We've got Care Bear. Care Bear, how you doing? Thanks so much for jumping on. Let's see. Annette Cervantes as well. I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Troubleshoot Gaming. Uh, let's see. Hope today has been a lovely situation for you and yours. It's been okay. I got to be honest. I'm coming off of a really nasty migraine for the last day and a half. So my uh, editing has been a little bit behind. Um, so my schedule is going to be a little off this weekend, but at the same time, I really am uh, and well enough to be on here for you right now. I still have a little bit of stuff in the background, uh, but it's finally beginning to kind of go away slightly. So, uh, but I'm good, but thanks so much for asking the troubleshoot. I appreciate that. Randy Molina, uh, we, we got in here as well too. Let's see, who else do we have? Ben Nguyen, Dante Reed. Have you seen the trailer for Moonfall? Yes, I have. It looks pretty interesting. Definitely with Halle Berry. It looks pretty crazy. Uh, Lord Darkseid, let's see, I was going down the line. I'm going to try and catch up here in just a bit. I've got a review for you guys tonight. I've got something for you to take a look at as always. We'll do a little fun chat, and uh, this should be a lot of fun here. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Freddy Foodie King is in the house as well. Thanks so much for jumping on, Freddy. Great to see you, Larry Nguyen. I'm doing okay. Thanks so much for jumping on. Have you seen? I'm actually early and way too early too this time. How interesting. <laughs> what do you know? That's awesome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks so much for uh, for hanging out with me right now, along with everybody else here in the community. We've got 27 amazing peeps in the house here. Um, I actually got a little bit more on my side, but that'll catch up in just a second here. Uh, let's see here. Love food like I do. Thanks so much for jumping on. Bus7332 again. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. Of course, I appreciate you, all of you guys, for uh, spending a little bit of your time with me here tonight. It's great to be on here with you. Troubleshoot says he went to Taco Bell to try the new, uh, after seeing my video earlier today. Cool. So I'm really curious to see what you thought of what you got. Um, I had a little bit of an experience with the black bean variant, <laughs> which was kind of funny. I'll tell you about that as we go. Um, but it was a very, very tasty situation, as it often is at uh, Taco Bell whenever they come out with anything cheesy. So good times there. Good times. So let's see here. Drew thinks we're doing s'mores tonight. Nope, definitely not doing that. Something I actually saw it. I was like, wow, I definitely want to give this a shot because this is going to remind me of something else that I did, I think, about a year ago this time, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, this should be pretty interesting here. We'll get to it in just a little bit. So I hope you guys are digging the uh, the new holiday theme. I'll probably still make some additions here and there just to kind of keep it going. But we've got our lights switched out in the back here. We've got the lights going up in the back. Um, and obviously a little bit of animated snow action there. I may change some things as we go throughout the season, but um, this is generally going to be the main format, I think. I don't want to keep it too busy, um, but at the same time, I want to give you something visually nice to look at while we're doing our thing here. So I appreciate you guys being on here right now. And uh, as we go further on down the line, Michael Domer, thanks so much for jumping on. Digging the background goodies with the uh, the fireplaces. Sammy, what's going on? Oh, no, Sammy. 
Okay, I quit Burger King yesterday. I know that means I have to take care of my health instead of my Well, man, just, just take care of yourself, whatever you're doing there. Like I said, my hearts go out. My heart and prayers, of course, go out to you for sure. Um, but especially with the holidays coming up here right now. But just do what you got to do and just, you know, things will have a way of working out. They always do. So, you know, I want to hear some good things from you in the near future. But in the meantime, we're going to keep you distracted a little bit this hour. Um, but I appreciate you jumping on here, Sammy. Definitely. I'm sorry to hear about that. But just take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Scott Rush, let's see. Dom's World. After watching a review of the spicy grilled cheese steak burrito Taco Bell, I gave it a shot and it was a good size portion and good for six bucks. Yes, I agree. Um, the original one was $2.99 when it first came out. I hadn't watched my original review before going to do that. Um, but I was like, wow, it was three bucks when that came out. So obviously there's always an upcharge for the steak. Um, but it was really good. And keep in mind, the double portion of steak is uh, based upon and what they're saying is their steak quesadilla. I don't know if I put that. I don't think I put that in the review because there was something I filmed for that. I don't think I put that little blurb in there, um, but it's based upon the steak quesadilla, not anything else. So when people are saying, oh, that's not a double portion of beef or steak, um, it's because it's based off of the other item, which is strange because why would you compare the two? I mean, this one is definitely a bigger burrito and of course it's going to have more in it, um, but still very, very tasty situation. That thing is delicious. That <laughs> thing is delicious. So good times there. Good times. Let's see here. Ben Nguyen Taco Bell makes me hurt. The, the, I ordered the... Uh, Cantina taco, but they gave a Doritos Locos taco. Man, I hope you, I hope they made that right for you. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not cool. Have you seen it? Yes, I've seen the Hitman's Bodyguard, but I haven't seen the second. I haven't seen the second one. Uh, let's see. Drew says it's E. Ricard's, oh, Elizabeth Ricard's birthday on Sunday. But hopefully she'll jump in here tonight. We can sing to her. We'll see what goes on when uh, if, uh, if if Elizabeth shows up over here. I haven't seen her jumping on. I'm trying to keep the chat moving, kind of, kind of in sync with what you've got over here. But we'll see how this goes here. So Lord Darkside Rhino was hoping that the Pats signed out. Talking about the football situation. KC170C, haven't tried Wendy's new fries yet. Haven't made my way over to Wendy's to give that a go yet. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that in the near future unless something is coming out over there. I don't know about making a trip to go try the fries. Um, we'll have to see though. Like I said, I think I mentioned this the last time I was on that if there's absolutely nothing to do, um, I will probably go give that a go. Uh, if anything there, maybe if I'm in the area and I drive by, I can do it really quickly there, um, as well. So, um, the jury's definitely still out on that. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Michael found a 12 pack of the new Mountain Dew gingerbread snapped at Kroger tonight. Yes, I want to check that out. Actually, I saw that, uh, Freddie, I think Freddie Foodie King put out that review recently too. I have to take a look and see what that's all about um as well and if i'm not mistaken i think trap tries it as well too um as well i'm barely coming out from being a very very crazy busy this week on top of just stuff going on and things in general so i've got a lot to catch up on for sure let's see tony a what's going on thanks so much for jumping on here i appreciate you very cool all right so let me see here oh bus is drinking my favorite the mexican cokes the long mutton long neck bottle cokes absolutely Make sure it says pure cane on the label. There are a few that are actually are doppelgangers that are in that long bottle that stir up regular high fructose sugar. So be careful, bus. Be careful. I trust it if I get it from food trucks, if I go to my local um, taco spot currently, and also if you get it at Costco. They're available at Costco in like in the 12 pack. I think they have a 12 or 24 case that you can buy for like 20 bucks or something like that. It's well worth the money uh, for that. So good times. James Morrison, happy Friday to you as well. Thank you for the Motu Instagram vid. Looking forward to the show. Very nice. Yeah, I had I really wanted to put out the uh, little goodness over there. And I'm going to be showing you something that I actually have over here, which is a little bit more of a sought after item right now. Uh, we'll save that for a little bit later in the show. But I think you're going to dig it because it was literally um, I needed to have it. I just needed to have it. And you'll know why when you see it. So it's pretty awesome. Everything, if you notice, is kind of cleaned up behind me here. I know the lights are not really showing it too much because it's a little bit darker back there. I'm trying to keep the ambiance. Um, but we're getting rid of a lot of different things and kind of migrating it over. So you can kind of see it's a little easier to see things. I'll see about putting some lights Maybe to kind of maybe kind of make things a little bit more brighter over there. But it's definitely cleaned up on top and we definitely have a little bit more organization going on. So uh, my wife is very happy about that. <laughs> Tell you that. Buff Llama, let's see. Always enjoy your videos and your positivity that you bring every day. Keep it up, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love watching the same type of content. Believe me, because with everything going on right now, I need that in my life. Trust me. I need the positivity. I love the energy. Um, and just the good, the good thing, the good things and the good times that people are putting out there. I appreciate that. So I definitely try my best for sure. Cause I have fun with this stuff, but Buff Llama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see here going down. 
Let's see, what's on the drink tonight? Bus, it is a little bit of just warm water. I know it's kind of plain, but like I said, coming off of a migraine for the last like day and a half or so, it was pretty murderous um, up until earlier this morning. You know, I was having a rough time. I'm like, I really hope I'm able to stream tonight because I know I'm not filming or doing anything today. So uh, that was the main reason uh, for that there. So I have a couple of projects that I'm chopping up right now on my laptop. I'm keeping those as they are. You'll probably see that earlier this coming week. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll move on from there. So this stream will probably be out on Sunday, my guess. So we'll have to see. But let's see. Going down here. Drew, it's my birthday too. You missed that. What? Drew, when, when is your birthday? What did I miss here? Fill me in, Drew. <laughs> What's the date? I need to see dates because there's so much text. Guys, I'm a one-man show. It's very hard to follow a lot of the stuff that I've got going on over here. Uh, but I'm trying to stay uh, stay current with the chat here right now. Erna tried the uh, bacon cheddar loaded double cheeseburger from Jack. It was a 10 out of 10 for you. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Some good stuff on that. My experience was just kind of so-so. The bun, I think, could have been so much better. But it was fun to check out. Definitely fun to check out. Then Wendy's is, has nothing to worry about. I mean, Wendy's is definitely the, the, the only game in town when it comes to the cheddar action right now. It's really good, uh, too. So let's see here. Going down the line. Are you a fan? Are you far from Wendy's or something from KC? Not too far, but it's a couple of cities over. So it's not exactly right next door. Um, but I do have some in either direction. They're just a little bit of a ways. They're really spread out um, at the same time. But I know the whole team over there at the same time as well. The one that I go to. It's just a matter of me getting over there. Um, my, my life outside of what I do naturally is a little chaotic sometimes with things that are going on. So it's really kind of uh, hard to kind of manage that. Um, especially when I get calls and I get you know emails and messages on DMs in terms of things coming out, things coming up. So I'm trying to balance that as much as possible, as well as to try and get some sleep and keep, you know, my health the way that it should be. So a little bit of a struggle, but it's still uh, it's a lot of fun to manage at the same time. I'm, I'm very grateful for it. Don't get me wrong. I definitely love doing what I do. Um, but sometimes it can be a little bit of a strain when there's no sleep involved. Casey, what was your lowest rated item that you remember? It's probably going to be some bacon soda, if I remember correctly there. Those are going way back. Uh, in the day. If you do a search for like bacon soda or some type of soda along those lines, it was pretty nasty. One of my earlier videos for sure. Bus got the 24 case from Costco. Nice. Nice. Yes, that is the way to do it. That is definitely the way to do it there. All right. I'm catching up on the chat. Jackie Hero Food Reviews. Jackie, thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. Sunday the 14th for both uh, for you and E-Ricard together. Wow, that is nuts So in two days from now. Okay, so we're going to be singing some birthday stuff here before this uh, hour is out. Drew and E-Ricard. Hopefully E-Ricard will show up. Uh, if not, we'll just have to just put it on here so it's immortalized forever. If she catches the replay, it'll be there. But very cool. Very happy birthday to you, uh, for sure. Turning 21 again. <laughs> I think we mentioned that on DM, actually. Turning 21 again. Oh, let's see here. So going down the line again, I'm trying to catch up. Let's see. Jolly Bees in Alhambra yet. Haven't been there too yet. Now, Larry, as far as I know, it's not open yet, um, to my knowledge. And believe me, I'm checking Yelp and I'm checking on their site. I don't see that open yet, unless you know something I don't. That was the old Arby's location by me. I'm waiting for that, um, that confirmation that it'll be there, because I definitely want to try some things out for sure. And I think we're in there. Richard Lopez, why don't you ever review Dunkin' or Starbucks drinks? Actually, I do. I just haven't done them lately. Um, I do have a little bit more of the Dunkin' side on there as well. I think the last thing I did from them was there was like a grilled cheese or some type of sandwich um, as well. Um, there was a prime rib breakfast sandwich or something along those lines. I do have a playlist for Dunkin' on my site. And actually, Starbucks a little bit ways back uh, in there as well, too, there. But I don't really drink a lot of those types of drinks because of the sugar content, honestly. And it's a lot of those things there. Based upon everything else that I'm reviewing with my schedule, I try not to do everything in a row. That's not healthy and it's not good. So I, I have everything kind of spaced out the way it works um, in terms of maybe three or four bites of something. And then if it's a drink, um, but drinks are not really like my thing. I mean, once in a while, if there's something I got to check out, then, of course, I'll give it a go. But uh, I haven't really been too impressed to or really pushed to kind of go and check out these things coming from Starbucks. Dunkin' once in a while. It depends upon what it is. Let's see. Jackie, loved your Frank and Whopper video. Thank you. I had a lot of fun putting that together. You guys are very lucky up there for that. I was really hoping that they would have some type of like special packaging, even though we wouldn't have that down here because it's not available here. That was fun to put together and just to put out there really quick. Um, it's one of my favorite thumbnails, actually. I had a lot of fun putting that together. 
Tiffany Shields, hey, yes, of course there's going to be some Motu tonight. A very, very special one, too. So it should be pretty cool when you guys see what it is. Um, it's not exactly very easy to get. <laughs> so I had a little bit of a, a struggle, but it all worked out. And I can't wait to uh, to show it to you guys a little bit later on in the uh, in the stream here. Uh, let's see. Sean Hickox, got to say it costed me $12 past two days because the grilled cheese steak burritos are serious. Not mad at you just saying thanks for doing what you do. No worries. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. But yeah, it's expensive. I know those, especially the steak version of it there. Six bucks is a, is, is a large ask from Taco Bell. I mean, it is. Um, when you can get something a little bit less expensive, that's virtually the same type of thing, a quesarito or something like that, maybe. Um, but at the same time, it was really good to experience it. And the size was pretty cool as well. So absolutely. Good stuff over there. I'm glad you're digging the content, though. Glad you're digging the content. Michael Domayer heard that there's a Jolly Bee coming to Detroit. Cool. They seem to be blowing up all over the place right now. I'm excited for it. Oh, the Night Shift from the Commodore. That's a classic song from Erna. And Erna, thank you so much for that Super Chat donation jumping up over here. Another sponsor of the channel. Of course, you guys have your names down in lights. If you're catching this on the replay, you already know. Tiffany Shields, no King Randor for the Origins line yet. But I'm sure that will be coming at some point. Because they, uh, they how could they not? <laughs> you have the Eternian guards that are out. Um, they need to have who they're protecting, right? That should be kind of cool. So I'm excited to see what they're going to do with King Randor. I'm sure that's a 2022 item some point next year. Uh, for that, uh, let's see. Going down here. Ben Nguyen, I think you should do an Italian cheeseburger from BK <laughs> like they did back in the pizza cheeseburger in the 80s. You know what? I think I did a version of something that had a lot of cheese i'm trying to think about what it was i know it's not the recent orange original orange chicken or not the orange chicken the um chicken parm sandwich that i did the original chicken sandwich uh with the uh, italian style over there that's actually you can't go wrong with that either way but there was something kind of similar to that i want to say but not necessarily with tomato sauce and marinara sauce but i'd like to see that that would be kind of cool to see from uh from bk i think let's see here drew Got a McRib the other day, was disappointed and issued for extra sauce and barely had any. Yes, I, you know, I think I told you the last time when I had it, um, it was out a week earlier than it was supposed to be. The first one I got wasn't that great. Really just really wasn't that great. The patty actually I didn't say was really small on it too. I was surprised. And the sauce wasn't that great either um, on it as well. And I got extra onions, so it felt like I was eating an onion sandwich. I got to be honest, because I, I, I was expecting a larger patty, um, but it wasn't good. The second one was better. Um, haven't had it a third time, but I got to be honest, I'm kind of craving a quarter pounder with cheese for some reason. So I may be doing that after the stream tonight, uh, considering I haven't had very much to eat today, <laughs> just a little bit. So I'm probably going to be doing that, I think, tonight instead of uh, in and out. Uh, let's see. Erna, yes, the night shift on the night shift. That's a classic song right there. You already know, Erna, you already know. Tiffany Shields, random. Can't wait to see. Uh, can't wait to have the double meat Whataburger on Monday, man. I can imagine. I still want to try Whataburger one of these days. Paul, Critical East Japan in the house. Thanks so much for jumping on. They needed to hide that sauce in the processed pork, he says. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Well, I got to say, because it is nationwide, I wonder if maybe the patty is a little bit smaller because they kind of have to spread out the resources throughout the country. Um, but I was really surprised. The second one was better, but now that I think about it, it was a little on the thinner side. My wife liked it. She had a couple of bites from it as well and thought it was good, but, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, let's see here. Chad Mathers. Hey, Ian, have you ever experienced Culver's? No, I would love to check out Culver's. I know I have a lot of past reviews and people that I've seen that have done those in the past. And that's something I would love to try. Believe me, I'd be love to check that out. Uh, definitely cool stuff for sure. Uh, let's see. Double quarter pounder with cheese, says Annette. I don't know if I can do a double at this hour of the night, to be honest with you. I know I'm kind of a lightweight. I'm 6'3", but I'm still a lightweight. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll have to see about that. Maybe a double McRib, but then again, that may feel like a single patty McRib, considering how small the patties are right now. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, honestly, I think they should take it off the menu completely, according to Tony A, because it is trash. <laughs> So direct with that. CK, loved your video collabs. When will you be doing collabs again? I'm sure it has a lot to do with COVID. Yes, primarily, but a lot of the stuff is virtual in terms of those types of virtual kind of shout out videos where you kind of work with somebody. I'm always down for those. That's no problem. Um, it's just a matter of just the timing and what people would want to do and what would be interesting enough that wouldn't be like reviewing the exact same thing because you want to have an angle or an edge, I think, um, when you do stuff like that. So I'm always open for it. My inbox is open, so... It'll be kind of fun to see what's uh, what's going on with everyone if anyone has some ideas for that. 
I always try and fit in what I can with my schedule. And believe me, it's been the last year and a half. It's been packed. I mean, every week, multiple videos. Um, I'm having just a lot of fun with this stuff. So if it can be done, believe me, I'd love to do it. Um, any type of uh, something like that would be great. Uh, Culver's is very tasty, of course, says uh, Tiffany Shields. I think that was there. Yep, it is. It's jumping up. Critical, just rendering a video and noticed that you were on this week an hour later since the time shift. Yes, that's that's right. I'm really so glad we got our hour back. It feels like I'm still kind of wondering how I'm going to do this because the hour, because of the change here, it's always a little bit harder to film because it gets darker because of the change now. So you got to make sure you get your material as early as possible. So I'm always trying to battle with the light to make sure I have the right angle where it's not on my face. It's not casting shadows. Now I have an extra hour to worry about. I've got my sleep bag a little bit, but... I actually have to uh, worry about how my car is going to be positioned. Um, although I've been having a lot of fun being outside lately um, at the same time, which speaking of which, just to get right into this before we do the quickie review here and then we'll jump into it. Um, my review for the black bean uh, grilled cheese burrito, the double black bean grilled cheese burrito was a little bit of a debacle at the same time because that was literally a two, I think it was two versions of that when I did that earlier in the week. Um, the first one I got didn't have jalapenos. I went back inside and asked to make sure they had it made correctly. Um, when I got it back, um, there's something that was just something that, I don't know if it was just, it didn't feel like it was fresh. Um, so I went back in and I also said, you know, please make sure it's the, it's the, the black bean version, the black bean variant. And I got into it. Everything was good. I was getting ready to start. And all of a sudden the mosquitoes, when I was standing outside, I just felt my legs getting kind of itchy. And I looked down and I saw there were a couple that were on me and I was like, oh no, I can't, I can't do this because it's going to be bugging the crap out of me. So that's exactly what I did as I got back into my car and I just figured, and I let you guys know in the video, I didn't want to be the meal for these mosquitoes and that's how that that video went but as i got further into that burrito all of a sudden i'm realizing that initially what i was tasting was black beans and then the rest of it it looked like it was just the regular refried pinto beans that they put in there so i was like you know what it tastes very similar to what the black beans are naturally because that's what i thought i had in the beginning the flavor was really awesome with it so that's pretty much how that video went um at the same time so it was a little bit of a nightmare because it really was rough because the, the day it was very hot and the things weren't going right. Some days are like that. And I really wanted to be outside. And maybe I'm glad I wasn't because of the mosquitoes and because of the problems. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Nonetheless, you know what to expect when you get that one naturally. Um, but it was fun to actually um, get that one knocked out naturally too that way. I don't think I'm going to revisit that. And I have some people that were direct messaging me asking me if I was going to be doing the chicken version of that. If you guys really want to see the chicken version, maybe I'll do that as like a night review. Um, a little bit later on down the line if it's something that you know, i see more in the video if you guys are sending me messages if you guys want to see that you can always give the thumbs up over here in the chat um i'm not sure i'm going to be revisiting again if i do it's because i really want to have it again because it's delicious but uh we'll see we'll see so yes i'm glad i actually have that one done and that one is uh is off the laptop and that is it <laughs> so let's see have you seen i had the taco bell grilled cheese burrito for lunch today after so long it's not on their menu. It's absolutely delicious. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's really cool how they make it. Um, just so you guys know, um, they take the cheese, they put it on this piece of paper, and you probably notice when you open it up, and they put that paper with the cheese and the jalapenos, if you get it spiced up, and they put it under their, their press for like maybe 20 seconds. And as they do that, they make the burrito, and then they open up the press, and they put the burrito on top of it, and then they press it completely. So that's what actually puts the cheese onto the bottom of the burrito, and then you have the burrito toasted on top. And then they take it out and then they wrap it up and then there you go. So it was uh, pretty cool how they do that. And then it kind of slides off that paper and next thing you know, it's wrapped around. If they can figure out a way to actually do that on both sides, heaven, heaven right there. That would be amazing to check out. So good times though, either way, good times either way. Drew says they must have run out of black beans. I don't know, but like I said, it tasted the same to me. And then maybe the mouthfeel of what I was going through, I just wanted to get that over with. Plus it was very goopy. Um, you guys didn't see it on camera, but there was a chunk of it that fell off the first take that I did of that. And it was just a rough shoot. It was just a rough shoot in general. Um, I have all my protection in front of my dash there and everything anyway. But I was like, man, I just want to get this over with. <laughs> it's really hard to film um, anything like that for some reason, because there was so much sauce and cheese and rice and beans. And I was like, oh, it was it was craziness, craziness. Uh, but good times. Delicious. Delicious either way. Oh, by the way, I still have the one that they messed up on. They still let me keep that. So I still have that in the fridge. So I don't know how good it is still. I don't think I want to test it, but because um, it was earlier in the week. But at the same time, we'll, uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> 
Tony says, yay, Cheaters Can video upcoming. There's one vote for the chicken variant. If you guys want to see that, you guys let me know. <laughs> uh, good times over there. Good times. I guess I have the steak, the beef, and the bean. I guess the chicken, I might as well, right? <laughs> I might as well. Heaven is a place on earth. It really is heaven. Oh, that's from Erna. Is that the bangles? I think that's the bangles. Bangles or the go-go's? One of the two. I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not thinking right now. And that says black beans are gross. I love them. I love them. Very little difference for me compared to what I have, but it was really, really good stuff. And yes, Freddy, I love black beans and rice as well. Good stuff. Lynn Singer critically eats Japan subway subpar. Now there are so many better sub shops in the U.S., but you have a much smaller pool there. Yes. Jersey Mike's, of course. There's a lot out there. Uh, Jimmy John's, which I'm not really a super fan of, strictly because of just the, some of the stuff that the CEO is into, which I'm not a fan of. That's why I stopped doing those. Uh, but I hear Jersey Mike's, of course, has got some really amazing sandwiches. Uh, my sister and my mom just actually went there recently. Mom, how you doing? I know you're watching right now. I'm so sorry I'm mentioning that almost a half hour into this right now. Belinda Carlisle, heaven is a place on earth. That's it. That's it. That's what I was thinking. Good, 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 good. All right, another couple here before we get into the quickie review. Have you seen a preference quarter pounder with cheese or double quarter pounder with cheese? Double, but I definitely dig the quarter pounder in general. So, you know, probably that's what I'm going to be having after the stream tonight is just the regular uh, single one. I believe it or not, because of all the coffees and the pumpkin pies that I get when I get my uh, my coffee drinks, um, I have like about 14,000 points right now on my app, which I have all these points. So it's going to literally going to be just a free meal tonight uh, to cash some of those in. So I'm excited to uh, to do that. And uh, it should be a lot of fun, actually, as well. So good times with that there. Critically, it's Japan. Paul saying hi to my mom who's watching right now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you guys want to put a little chick right over here for peeps, because that's her favorite candy. <laughs> That's your favorite holiday treat, actually, I should say. I think she would appreciate that. So that would be a lot of fun. Paul says, please review the chicken variant if you want to. We'll have to see, Paul. We'll have to see. Most likely, if I say it, I'm, chances are I'm going to do it. It's just a matter of when. Um, I'm going to probably space that one out, considering you know I've, it's been out uh, just a few days. I don't really want to blow it all quickly uh, with that, too. So we'll have to see. Oh, we got all the chicks, moms. They're all coming out for you here. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And as the chicks are coming into it right now, you guys are ready for the review because I'm going to do it for you right now. Let's get into this. It's going to be a holiday theme review because we're naturally in the holiday mode right now, right? So that's what we're going to be doing. And guys, when I walked past this in my store like a few days ago, I was like, man, I have to check this out because this just looks amazing. And I already know my mom's going to want me to bring these to her after I actually do them right over here. So mama peeps, this is for you, even though it's not necessarily... Uh, that in there. And what is that thing from Larry? My last El Pollo local comment. Larry, which comment was it? There's a lot that I'm looking at over here. If I can see what this is. We'll have to see. Actually, hold it until after the review, Larry. Just cut and paste it in. And I'll definitely take a look for you to see what that is there as well. Drew thinks it's Oreos. <laughs> Drew, you're my brother from another. But nope, you're wrong this time. Wrong this time. Yes, Tiffany, I agree. The grilled cheese burrito is probably the best thing in the Taco Bell menu has come up with in a long time. I absolutely said that in my review as well. Absolutely delicious stuff right there. Ben Nguyen says, give me a second. I need to take a milk. <laughs> it's all coming in. We got all the peeps in here as well. Okay, let's just give it to you because I have been stalling enough. Guys, have you seen these? Ritz fudge covered limited edition crackers. Look at that. I had no idea. Obviously, sweet and salty, of course, is going to be pretty amazing with this. But look at this right over here. Ritz crackers, buttery Ritz crackers covered in fudge. Can you say, yeah? I mean, come on. And look at this recipe on the back when I saw this as well. You can make a triple layer chocolate Ritz pie with this thing. Crazy craziness right now. So, yeah, definitely. I wanted to get this one started. We'll, we'll do some more holiday themed stuff as we go, but... Dude, you got to be kidding me with this right now. How could you not want to give this a go? Just looking at this on the shelf, I was like, I need to get this in my life right now. I need to get this in my life right now. So let's get this opened. Let me see, which is the best way to do this here? This is not like uh, learning how to open up a hostess box as well, which we've done before. But Nabisco makes it easy with these, so I'm actually cool with that. All right, so just looking at this here, it looks like it's in a long plastic tray. And these look pretty amazing right now. Let me just actually, before I show them to you, 
Let me just open this up. I already know my wife is going to devour these because she loves chocolate. And I know with these types of things, she is all about it. Trust me. Trust me. This looks really good already. Oh, wow. The aroma is already kicking on this. Nice chocolate action or fudge action right there. Look at that, guys. These present beautifully right now. Look at that. Really nice. Oh, yeah. Deep, rich fudge. That is really rich smelling. The aroma is jumping out of these things ridiculous right now. Yes, I know it's Nabisco, but even still, really, really lovely situation already. The smell is pretty heavenly. Pretty heavenly. So, Mom, I wish you can uh, type into the text right over there, the chat box. Let me know what you think of this right here. We're going to teach you how to do that. <laughs> but these look pretty amazing. For those who are interested, four crackers, 160 calories, 8 grams of fat, 23 carbs. Sugar is 13. So four of these equals literally the equivalent of two Oreos. So it's actually not bad when you look at it that way. All right, so let me pull one of these out. Wow, these things are drenched. Look at that. I'm going to try and keep this focused here. Try and focus it. There we go. little contrasty because of my light, but pretty nice. Let's give this a shot. Guys, Ritz Fudge Cover Limited Edition. Here we go. This is a butter cookie. Wow. Ooh. Any of you aspiring food reviewers out there, you need to be jumping on this by far. Wow. Rich buttery. This tastes like literally a holiday cookie. It's very vibrant in butter flavor. I'm trying to keep this focused. Probably not because of the light. It's very contrasty. But the fudge right after the butteriness is so rich and vibrant. And then the creaminess of that fudge, it gets thicker as you eat it. Mmm, ma'am. You know, two of these, and you're good. I got to be honest. They're rich, super rich. Wow. Guys, the first ingredient, no matter what it is, is usually the most important thing, pretty much the main one. Sugar. <laughs> That's the first ingredient. Sugar. Wow. Oh, ma'am. That is really good, dude. Oh, my God. I'm going to grab another one of these. That is so buttery, so rich. Again, got a little action. Trying to keep that focus. I know the contrast is not really working with me right now, but this is so good. Sean says, dunk it. I'm not going to put it in warm water. I probably should have had some milk, but I didn't really think crackers and milk, that type of thing, or rich in milk. Guys, it's a sugar cookie. It tastes like a sugar cookie. Heavy buttery flavor. Rich, vibrant fudge flavor right after that. That gets thicker as you chew it. Mmm, ma'am. Wow. 10 out of 10 for this by far. This is mind-blowing right now. I can't believe how good this is. This is very tasty. Ma'am. Oh, yeah. But it's not like an M&M. &M. Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. It's not that. Wow. Amazing on that. 10 out of 10. By far, easily worth your time. Ma'am. Let me just show this to you one more time. Yes, Annette, they do look bomb. They do. Guys, really awesome quality. Individually, they're really dunked and they're made so nicely. And again, this really feels like a coated sugar cookie. It really is pretty awesome. I'm really blown away. Uh, by the quality. I think the wifey is going to dig these for sure. I mean, I, I know it. I know it because the fudge alone, it's worth the price of admission just for that. This was, I think, about $2.99 on sale and um, easily worth the time. Easily worth the time. Ritz fudge covered. Let me just get this wrap on here really quick. There we go. Definitely a banging situation. Definitely a banging situation. So one more time. Good stuff right there. Little uh, gift box, I guess, that it comes in there. Fudge cover, limited edition. But like I said, very, very awesome in terms of just the butteriness. That is really an amazing, raising. really, it feels like literally a sugar cookie drenched in fudge. It really is that good. That's really good. Good stuff over there. 
Shelly, what's going on? Thanks so much for jumping on. Freddy hasn't seen them yet by him. Freddy, you have to do it. You have to do it. It is really good. Really tasty. Like I said, very buttery and uh, decadent. Really, really good. And it says I can eat them in one sitting. I'm good after two. Believe me, I'm good. I did, literally had what? Was it 160? I had 80 calories right now. And I'm good with it. I'm saving the rest for when I have my quarter pounder. <laughs> but that was really tasty. Very, very tasty. Man. No. All right. I'm not going to have any more of that right now. <laughs> good stuff. So highly recommend you guys give those a shot. Hashtag unsponsored. Good, good stuff there. Critical Elite's putting on the Ritz. I'm thinking of Young Frankenstein references. <laughs> putting on the Ritz. That's a classic song. Yes, absolutely. Ali Rios, where are they testing? Dipping flautas. Oh, man, I would love to try that. That's got to be like the taquito roll-ups that they do uh, from that. The rolled chicken tacos, which I'm sure we'll see at some point. Again, that's literally that's come out every single time since I've been doing this stuff. Um, God, eight plus years, nine plus years, it'll be after the new year. God, it's crazy to see that. It's crazy to see that right now. Craziness, craziness. Iconic songs, iconic songs. So good times for sure, guys. Good times for sure. All right, so let's see what else we got here. I got my little fan going. I can't believe how hot it gets in my office here as I'm doing my thing here right now. Especially with these lights in the back over here, but they're LEDs, so there's like they're cold. So there's nothing that's really heating up behind me. Let's see. Chocolate and salt. Oh, yeah, Poppy. You already know what it is, Freddy. Sweet and savory or sweet and salty or salt and, spe salt and spicy, something like that. <laughs> Not all together with a cookie or chocolate or anything, although they do have some type of like, you know, spice they put in chocolate that they do. Uh, we'll have to see. He says next year they're going to be doing Nutter Butter Cake Stirs. Yes, I saw something on that, Drew. I saw something. I can't remember which site that was. I'm not, if I'm mistaken, it's either Chew Boom or one of the other ones. Brand eating, maybe. Good times there. Erno, what do I think of Bruce Hornsby The Range? Classic stuff. That's just the way it is. Good stuff. Larry Nguyen, why don't you just rip open the box? <laughs> because I like to keep everything kind of neat and orderly, just in case there as well. Plus, I, I always hate the idea of when things are opening correctly, and the next thing you know, they don't last as long because they spoil. Uh, that type of thing. So they make these things for a reason, and they show you how to open them with the tabs, and I'm always big on doing that type of thing, so you already know. Tiffany, the chocolate on your fingers remind me of mall rats. Oh, God, that's a nasty scene, Tiffany. <laughs> when Michael Rooker goes into the bag and he pulls that out after... Uh... <laughs> that's so bad. That is so bad. And yes, Annette, it was hot today. Today was the hottest day of the week here in Southern Cali, at least where we are in the uh, San Gabriel Valley, I should say. It has definitely been uh, crispy. It should start to cool off for sure. Let's see. Ali Rios, Tustin, California. Okay, yeah, I know all those. Uh, that's closer to where the um, Taco Bell headquarters is in Irvine for those things. Yeah, it's way out there. It's definitely way out there. I've done uh, I've done a few things there in the past for sure. The Triple Lupo was one of them actually back in the day, and the Midnight Melt Taco um, as well. Drew says, Ian has rules to box opening. <laughs> I just follow directions. <laughs> That's all I do, Drew. That's all I do. You already know. Tiffany reminds me of Tiffany. I think we're alone now. That's a classic one right there. Did they actually use that in uh, Adventures in Babysitting, Erna, from back in the 80s? I think they did. I think that was in that movie, if I'm not mistaken. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. I think we're alone now. <laughs> That's classic Tiffany right there, too. It's pretty awesome. So guys, the holiday season, I'm beginning it just a little bit early, typically the beginning of the month. I already have my lights out on my place. I got everything ready to go. It's all solar powered. So naturally, whenever I just, you know, it goes on on its own, I don't have to worry about timers or anything. Um, it's definitely good times. This is the time of the year. I'm from Halloween, from the end of summer through Halloween, and then naturally the depression that sets in after Halloween, uh, by the way, which I hope you guys had a very nice Halloween weekend. That was the last time I saw you guys. It was a very fun time for me. I spent some time with me, Familia, my sister primarily. Uh, and it was a good time uh, with the wifey as well. We had a really, really fun evening. Um, and just good times, just getting ready to celebrate the holidays coming up and, and all of that as well. And, you know, watching all the success of my channel and, and videos that I've been doing, um, which I've been really so fortunate and so happy to be doing. I can't tell you, I'm very humble and grateful for this stuff. And I'm glad that you guys are digging it as well. 
Um, it really felt good to just be out that night, walking around, just kind of thinking about things while I'm having fun at the same time. It was the end of a very long month. Um, a lot of things that were going on. So I'm very glad to, um, you know, be into this, uh, this holiday season officially now and, uh, just being together with everybody, which is really, really a good thing as we're all trying to navigate the, uh, the crazy seas that we're on right now, because the, the oceans are, are crazy around the world with what's happening with uh, what we're still dealing with. But at the same time. Um, it's all a matter of having as much positive distraction as possible. So that's what I'm going to try and do whenever I do these streams. And then naturally we'll just, you know, see where it goes. I don't really know where the streams go conversation wise. That's always the fun part about it because you never know where it's going. Um, but at the same time, I do know what I'm going to be doing throughout the hour. At some point, it's just filling in those gaps with the stuff that you like to talk about and the stuff that you'd like to, uh, to discuss. And I have fun with that stuff. So definitely digging that. And I appreciate you guys for, uh, for being here right now as well. Uh, crazy to think about that it's it's still crazy hot here in Southern Cali. It doesn't feel like it's the weather that I have around me here right now, but at the same time, I'm going to make it as festive as possible because I'm all about the holidays and I'm all about those distractions. Believe me, I need them just as much as you guys need them. So let's see here. Larry was telling me about El Pollo Loco, telling me about Mexican hot chocolate. Yes, I saw that on the menu. I actually had El Pollo Loco earlier today. That was the only other thing that I've eaten today. Um, I got some chicken over there and, um, yeah, I saw that they also had the, um, I want to say that Pizzoli soup, I think it is that's on there as well. The holiday stuff they do with that stuff there. So we'll have to see, um, but you know, I haven't done anything from a uh, pollo up until I think the last thing I did was the, uh, the not so loaded nachos that <laughs> I was supposed to have the taquito nachos, but then they gave me the regular and then they told me that they were out of the other stuff yet. They gave me the stuff thinking it was going to be the taquito nachos. And I'm like, bro, this is not the same thing and that's what it came out to be so it is what it is russell what's going on thanks so much for jumping on and yes love food like i do i appreciate that hit that like button down below if you haven't already if you're watching this on the replay as well i definitely appreciate it if you made it this far into the review definitely consider subscribing if you haven't done so already brand new content every single week multiple times uh, all that good stuff for you as well as live streamings for sure Yes, Ali Rios, I've seen Carl Jr. testing the candied bacon menus. I know Hardee's has got some brisket burger stuff, too, um, as well. So believe me, I've got my little feelers out. If anything does actually show up our way, I would love to, of course, check that out for sure. Um, it's great working with a lot of the amazing people in the community that I know here, and it's really the fun thing about networking and just being out there in the, uh, in the quote-unquote, in the weeds, so to speak, um, which is a lot of fun. Um, and, of course, all the, the stuff from BK and all the fun stuff you're going to see from them in the not too distant future as well. There's a lot of really fun things coming. So there's a lot of really, really great people that are really doing the do and really putting it out there to ensure that, you know, you have as good as fast food, you know, experience when you go as possible. Believe me, there are a lot of people that do, you know, take an interest and want to make sure that the experience is a good one. Believe me. And I'm really fortunate to have a lot of locations around me that really are just nice people. There's nice people. I have a lot of fun uh, chatting with people, people that see my stuff. We talk about stuff. It's just, a, it's a lot of fun. Really a lot of fun. Annette Cervantes, any plans for Thanksgiving? I've actually got some family I haven't seen live and in the flesh coming out, actually flying into uh, Southern Cali here in a couple of weeks. So I'm excited for that. Uh, my uncle is coming. Uh, I have some aunts as well. I have just a few different people um, that I haven't seen in a very long time. And uh, I really, I, I need to see them, <laughs> to be honest. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, getting together with family and just, you know, doing the do and making sure that we're all safe and we're okay. Um, you know, I'm very, very big on that. It's really hard right now trying to navigate all these things or plans and things that people would like to do. Um, but it's just not not quite the right time, at least for me. It's per peace personally speaking for me. Um, it's, but I'm excited for uh, for the holiday season there. Hope you're going to be having a good one, too. Hope you're going to be having a good one, too. Uh, Drew tried the Mexican hot chocolate a few years back. It's good. I have to check it out. And the last hot chocolate I had fast food was the only fast food hot chocolate I've had, Drew, which is actually the, the In-N-Out hot chocolate. And I actually had that review on my channel. That was the last time that I had hot chocolate. I don't have hot chocolate too often, but I take that back. I do. It's been a few years since then, but I actually have made it here in my place, um, naturally. It's not the same, but, you know, it's it's all right. It's one of those packet deals, you know, with the, uh, with the from the hot water cooler type of thing to make something quick. So we'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Annette, thanks so much. I hope I, uh, I'm definitely going to enjoy the time with them. I can't wait to see them and, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, for sure. Oh, we've got TL donating over here. Super chat donation. TL, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming in there as well too. There and earn a super chatting donation as well too. Thank you as well. 
you guys are obviously official sponsors of the channel and some of you patrons of my channel as well too there thank you so much for um for your love and support each month for that i really greatly appreciate that for sure but coming through there it is from tl thank you thank you thank you thank you i love that sticker right there that's awesome i'm glad i enabled that on the uh on my account so you can actually put those things which is cool i'm always curious to see what's going to come up and that's actually one of the best ones so far that is so cool thank you so much i appreciate that everywhere you go always take uh always take the weather with you who sings that song every time you leave oh man, i kept, kept thinking about where that is erna that escapes me it's in my head all of a sudden here help me out or if somebody else here knows in the chat definitely let me out <laughs> definitely help me out please 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 yes ali i can't believe vnk yes the arby's has new crispy fries vodka flavor i saw that i saw that there's something off of their own site that you can do Yes, Paul, it is nice with family and everything. It is a crazy, crazy situation right now. And uh, believe me about being all vaccinated as well, there's still no guarantee you won't catch something. But at the same time, it's good to know that you have as many army battles or, you know, you're, you're armed, you know, for battle, I should say, in the event of. That's the important thing with that. Uh, ben, I don't know when they're opening up Jollibee because I'm definitely going to check it out. Believe me, I'm always checking to see there almost every week um, because they're late. Uh, they should have been opened already. So... Um, hopefully before the end of the year, but when it does happen, of course, it's going to show up here on the channel and then we'll talk about it. So, um, believe me, it's coming. It's just a matter of, you know, having the availability to do it. <laughs> so I can't wait. You already know. Larry, I appreciate that. I'm your brother from another. <laughs> I appreciate that right there, right there. That's awesome. Oh, uh, let's see. Erna is going to be crowded. How a oh, crowded house. I think may have said, that's right. That's right. That's right. Every time he goes, a different song from Paul Young. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It was in my head. It was in my head. All right. So, guys, as we come up onto about 10 minutes of uh, on the hour right now, I think it is time to take a look at this very, very cool thing here. Because this, like I told you, is very, very hard to find. And this is literally kind of like the, the creme de la creme as part of my collection. I actually have four others to show you at some point soon. But for this... This actually is something that was from PowerCon exclusively. You can only get this if you go to PowerCon, which is basically a convention where everyone is all into He-Man and Masters of the Universe. But you were given the opportunity to order this actually online um, towards the end of September. I think it was like September, actually not the end of, but I think it was like the 13th or the 14th one around there. And if you were able to log in quickly, you were able to purchase this here. And this was one of them. There was a few of uh, few of the exclusives, and I actually was able to pick up two others that are not here yet. This one, I had to actually have find and have somebody basically on the secondary market help me with this one. So a little bit more expensive than I wanted it to be, but at the same time, it's a one of a kind because this character is not available anywhere except online right now. But guys, take a look at that. If you look closely, this is... They're calling him Maniacal Mimics. Dangerous doppelgangers of He-Man and Battle Cat. Basically, it's a custom version of Faker that basically they call Leo Faker. And basically what that is is an overseas version. And the difference you can tell is the eyes. He doesn't look like the normal Faker or the normal He-Man. It's the same basic stuff. But the main draw is his buddy right next to him over here. Now, his name is Duplicat, Evil Cybernetic Tiger, but his real name should be Copycat. But because there's somebody in the fan community that has something that was made exactly like this, a lot of people were accusing Mattel of kind of ripping it and not giving credit. Um, it was a very similar design, same color scheme and everything. Copycat, they didn't want to use. I think that would have been a better name, but Duplicat is not bad, you know, for what it is. But guys, just amazing artwork. So you have Faker, Evil Robot of Skeletor, with the Leo style, and as you can see, his eyes are a little bit different but take a look at this in the back the artwork is stunning on these things that is just absolutely amazing and it's basically a rip version or actually it's from the main company but instead of it being he-man and battle cat striking down at um skeletor on the bottom it's striking down on the uh flying fist he-man which is actually coming out uh in february next year but it is so awesome looking the artwork is just stunning on it and as you can see, just really just the detail looks amazing. I'm just so in love with the packaging on this. And it just is really, really slick. So on the side, you know, people watching, these are the rock men, I think, that are on there. But just a gorgeous package and a gorgeous set. Maniacal Mimics from Masters of the Universe here. 
and the creme de la creme of my collection on top of Castle Grayskull um, in there as well. This thing is very, very, very much up there right now. Everyone is pretty sought after to find this one, but it is very, very cool. And again, just that artwork one last time for you. It is gorgeous, just gorgeous stuff. So one of these days, you know, once I have the uh, the house and everything like that, we'll be have the man cave all set up. It's going to be uh, pretty much lit up with Masters of the Universe stuff like this because the artwork is just so amazing on it there. So just wanted to give you guys a fast look at that uh, for sure. Um, you know, I love sharing a little bit of my uh, my childhood of what I like to do there and collect once in a while. Um, I usually, for, for those of you who don't know, I don't buy a lot of stuff for myself because I'm always just, I'm working all the time and I'm always building and creating and life outside of this stuff there. So once in a while, it's fun to kind of treat yourself with a hobby. And obviously for this, it's Rhea getting me back into my, my childhood again and some of the stuff that I wish I had. And these are newer things which weren't available when I was a kid for anybody, so which I'm happy about. But very, very cool, uh, very cool, cool stuff over there. Freddie, he man, good times, good times. Yes, absolutely agree. I love it there. I actually have wave seven, which actually showed up before wave six. So there's four other ones that we'll take a look at over the next few weeks there. I don't want to, you know, create so much of a toy fetish uh, for the uh, for the stream. But uh, you'll be able to see a few more of that uh, as the uh, as the holidays stretch um, as well. So there'll be about, I think, eight other ones total right there. Four here and then four that will be coming uh, most likely in December, I think, for that, because those are already on pre-order. So let's see, Lord Darkseid went to IHOP today. Very nice, very nice. I haven't been to IHOP in a minute, to be honest. And actually, pancakes do sound pretty good. Arby's brings back the brisket sandwich. That thing is amazing stuff. I remember a lot of my early reviews, the brisket is always amazing at Arby's. I had a lot of fun checking those out. All the different versions of it that they've had over the time, over the years, it's been really, really good. Let's see, Randy Molina, have I tried the new Sonic Brand Zero Sugar Drink Mix like Cherry Lime? I haven't seen, no, I have not. I have not. I haven't been actually over to um to Sonic in a minute. You guys all know I have a love-hate relationship with Sonic. I really want something, I want the best for all the places that I review, but lately they've been kind of like, you know, up and down with the quality with me. <laughs> At least my location. Uh, so we'll have to see. The, let's see, Drew, Castle Grey Skull. Castle Ian Skull. <laughs> Look at that. There's two of them there. You need a little castle in the middle, though, Drew. You missed the, the, the one in the middle. There actually is a castle emoji, and you can put the two uh, skulls right there. Let's see here. Jackie, new IHOP opening in Halifax. November 23rd. Not many of them in Cal. So big deal. Oh, cool. Very cool. Very cool. I think you'll dig it. It's just the pricing is a little up there. For some of the uh, the items, I, and there was a fajita omelet that my wife would always go and we would split it because it's like a long fajita omelet. It had like, you know, loaded with cheese, veggies, and they top it off with like a sauce and more cheese, the sour cream, little guacamole. It's actually really good. It was almost like $15, $16. And I, I have a problem paying that much for like eggs. You know, I mean, eggs, it's like, come on. That is just like, you know, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. So we'll have to see about... um. How it is, how the pricing is over there, Jackie. I hope you enjoy it for sure. They have some great stuff. I mean, IHOP is, is tasty. It is. Ben, when am I going to return to Vegas to review the White Castle again? I'd love to be able to go back to Vegas. Believe me, I think this coming year would be the time to get back to uh, a little bit more normalcy. I know a lot of people are doing that stuff now. Um, but there's just too much craziness going on still for me to really feel comfortable with it. So I would love to do some of those things. Some of my favorite reviews were some of those views abroad, so to speak, where we actually did Shake Shack in Vegas, White Castle in Vegas. Um, and a few other things. So really, really good stuff. Raising Cane's actually was done initially in, in Orange County. I did my first review, and then when they opened up here. Speaking of which, Min Lee. Min, how you doing? Raising Cane's in Brooklyn Park has been open. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We have one that's over here closest in uh, Glendora, I want to say. That's where I've been doing my reviews as of late uh, for the few that I've done. Tiffany. Ian Mann, heroic food reviewer for the years of Eternia. There you go. There you go. I have the power. There you go, Drew. But you got to do the cross swords, though. I'm not going to try and be too picky with you. <laughs> but you can do the cross swords. But yes, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I didn't watch the Canelo fight, Annette. Haven't watched the Canelo fight. Let's see. Ali Rios, are you buying the new Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Definitive Edition? You know, I was thinking, I saw some stuff on that earlier today, and I've played all of those games already, to be honest. And I think just to play them a little bit more cleaned up, um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Depending upon what the price point is, naturally three games, if it's like 49 bucks or whatever, I think it's a pretty good deal 
Um, but those sets, usually when they drop to the $29.99 price point, is usually the instant, you know, impulse buy type of thing. So my guess is, believe it or not, that's probably going to drop very low right before Christmas. Whenever they come out with these sets like a month or two before, everyone like pops instantly to get it. And then um, it's just, it drops in price usually on Amazon and Target and all these places. So Mike or Walmart, I would probably hold off on that just in case. But like I said, I mean, $19.99 is hard to resist anyway. But $29.99 for all that, I'm sure will be a pretty good time to uh, to jump on it for sure. I uh, don't know if you knew this, but Sonic has brought back the garlic butter bacon. Yes, I've actually put that in my community tab the second time that it came around. I think this is the third time now. Um, I may do that tomorrow morning, possibly, uh, just to probably put it out there again. It hasn't changed. It's the exact same thing. Um, but yes, absolutely. Uh, tasty stuff from what I remember from that one as well, too. And yes, Min Lee, the McRib is back at McDonald's. Absolutely. About a week early here, but still... Good stuff. Definitely good stuff, even though it's a little on the smaller side. The second time I had it, like I said, was better. We'll see if the third time is the charm. That's going to be the ticket right there to see if the consistency is the same. Okay, did you know GTA got famous since the release because of the scandal about their game? Yes, and I think it was the coffee mod, I think, for what it was, Ben, from back in the day. And... <laughs> Freddy Booty King, love the fake rib. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Larry Nguyen, what is your worst food review in the last three or four months? Oh, man. I could not tell you off the top of my head right away because I'm on the spot right now. <laughs> but um, I know the worst one, obviously, was that. And one of the worst ones was that crispy chicken sandwich from back in the day. Uh, but I can't tell you. For the last three months, I think everything has been mostly somewhat average. I can't, Nothing is jumping out at me instantly um, as being completely like not great. I like that as well. You can probably tell me because chances are you probably know, Larry. I have a feeling if you're asking me that question. Uh, good times with that. Good times. Okay, do you think you'd be giving the new Sonic Mocha Crunch Blast a try? Have you seen it? Probably not because that's one of the reasons a lot of uh, ice cream drinks, they don't really agree with me too well. Um, and that's the, I've kind of stayed away from that. The, the McFlurries have been okay. That's one of the main reasons. That's kind of where I, I keep it there uh, for that. But probably not, um, honestly, for that. Probably not. Let's see, have you seen it? Do you ever collect Marvel Legends action figures? No, nothing Marvel, nothing, none of the build your own characters or anything like that. As you can tell, I have very little room behind me, uh, much less to store uh, for that type of thing. So I really got to make it count uh, for sure. So for me, it's always going to be the classics that I know. And I'm glad, like I said, with the Origins line of Motu, um, that was an easy, an easy push um, to get me to give that a shot. Um, and that was really kind of done on a whim, just speaking with my mom about a few things when I saw that these things were available. And I was just like, all right, well, what the heck? I'll just buy a couple, see how it is. And the next thing you know, it turns into the obsession. Uh, let's see. Ben, worst review is the Jack in the Box Cheddar Burger because it got a less score. Well, it was definitely a below standard experience, I remember, uh, from that for sure. So, yes, um, definitely the forgettable ones, um, you know, in terms of it being super low. It has to be really not made correctly for it to rate anything less than a five, but when the quality um, is just kind of like, eh, you know, that's kind of that's kind of what that was. That's kind of what that was. Michael, how about the Sonic Footlong Cheese Steak? <laughs> that actually was, I think, longer than three or four months, though, Mike, if I remember, if I remember correctly. Um, that was actually pretty substandard as well. But like I said, love-hate relationship with Sonic. You guys know. Let's see, Ali Rios, there's videos now on YouTube about Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. Very cool. Okay, I have to take a look and see. I have to take a look and see. And Randy Molina says he loves garlic. It definitely, I, you know, really is a pretty tasty item for, uh, for Sonic for that. It really was. All right, guys, so jumping back on over here, let me just tell you guys, I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. It's kind of the inaugural getting ready for the holidays. I wanted to give you the preview just to make sure that everything is set up correctly and working correctly. It looks like everything is. If you guys like what you saw tonight, let me see a Christmas tree right over here or a snowflake, whatever you want to put into the chat just to kind of let me know that I'm doing okay right now for tonight for you guys. I had a lot of fun putting this stuff together, obviously, and checking out a pretty banger of a snack cookie, I'm going to say. The Ritz crackers right here, fudge cover. These these things are fire. They really are. I'm really shocked by how delicious those things are. Really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. So I appreciate you guys jumping on here. Ali Rios, no, no PS5 just yet. I'm going to wait for the redesign on that um, when it gets a little bit smaller. Usually like mid-cycle is the best time, to be honest there. And plus, it's so hard to come by right now still for that big behemoth. Uh, I'll definitely uh, hold off for just a bit. Larry Nguyen, love G.I. Joe and love Master of the Universe. Yes, 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 absolutely. I have an appreciation for you, G.I. Joe, absolutely. I mean, I love the Snake Eyes movie, actually. It was really good. I really enjoyed that. 
Uh, but good times, good times. So guys, I appreciate you jumping on here tonight. Let's see, Min Lee, get some sleep. I like your Christmas theme. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much for jumping on. And I appreciate all the holiday love and you guys for all the super chatting. Anything that may have been put through on PayPal, I won't know till after the fact. But you guys, of course, will find your names in the description box down below should anything be over there. But thank you. Thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart. Um, we're getting ready for the holiday time. It's going to get even crazier as we, uh, as we go. But let's just do it together. And uh, we'll have some fun here as well. All the holiday themed stuff and some fun stuff in between. Um, we'll get with it here, of course. And this is the time to stay frosty, PB. As uh, you're telling me to stay frosty, you already know what it is. You have a frosty weekend too, Drew. And to everybody here in the chat, thank you so much for jumping on. But first, before we go, I got to do one, one particular thing because E. Ricard didn't jump on here tonight. But that's okay if she catches the replay. So without further ado... Happy birthday to Drew. Happy birthday to Drew. Happy birthday to Drew. Andy Ricard. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you guys. I'm on the 14th right now. That is so awesome. If you guys want to put some birthday cakes right over here in the chat, that would be awesome too. But thank you so much for jumping on. A very happy, healthy holiday. Of course, I'm going to keep saying it all throughout the holiday season. But for Drew and for E. Ricard, health, happiness, success always in that order, of course. And uh, beautiful times coming for everybody for the holiday season. I wish nothing but good things for everybody watching right now. For all of you guys here in the chat who have made the channel and continue to make my channel what it is, thank you for doing what you do, for commenting and taking an interest. And I appreciate all the cakes jumping onto the screen over here that you're going to see here in just a second. There they go. They're beginning to pop up. Good times all across the board. To all the amazing positive content creators out there, you guys all know who you are. Putting it out there, of course, there. Jackie Hero Food Reviews, Drew's Food Reviews, Critical East Japan, Trav Tries, which is not here right now, Freddy Foodie King. Got your positivity is infectious as well. Snack King Cole as well. Um, just amazing peeps out there putting it down. I really appreciate you guys reaching out and just, just doing what you do. You guys definitely keeping the community pumped, keeping everyone on fire, and just having a good time doing it. That is what it is all about. Good times across the board for everybody so with that said let me jump on over here right now and uh, we will end this one out and of course we'll be back with the next stream we'll have some more fun with some more things to take a look at um if you guys like what you saw tonight drop some comments down below let me know what you thought um thought about the stream if you're catching this on the replay for sure let me know what you'd like to possibly see on the future for future streams as we get further into the holidays that would be amazing and uh, to thank every each and every one of you again, I've been saying it to all like to death here, guys. You guys make the channel what it is. I would not be able to do what I do without you guys. Having you guys as an amazing subscriber base um, as well. I love to create. I love to put out the content and to give you guys something to look forward to. And I appreciate you guys taking an interest. Like I said, it means the world to me. It really does, um, especially with the craziness that we're all dealing with right now. We need a little bit of that. We need a little bit of togetherness at the same time. So with that, again... Jumping on over here right now, and uh, let's just close it out, guys, because I think I have a quarter pounder with cheese with my name on it right now. I cannot wait to get into this. So, with that said, this is Ian K officially closing out the stream for November 12th, guys. We're into November finally, and like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So, why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon? In the meantime, stay frosty. Good times, guys. Good times. Thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you being here right now. Should anything come up that you'd like to share with me, of course, I'm very easy to find. Direct message me, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you'd like to use. You guys have a frosty weekend. Hopefully it's a cooler weekend for you and something a little bit more November-like. Uh, Michael Domey are out your way. I hope you have uh, some cooler weather, <laughs> so to speak. We're coming up on the time where it's going to be for you out your way. So thank you for jumping in here. Annette Cervantes, thanks so much for jumping on. Randy Molina, Ben Nguyen, Larry Nguyen as well. Shelly. As well, Min Lee, Drew, have you seen a... I'm going to just blast out a few names over here right now. Let me see who else we have. Lord Darkside. Bus7332, if you're still here, Bus. Lord Darkside again. Cal Carl Brissard. Dom's World. You already know what it is. I appreciate you, brother. CK. All the amazing peeps in the house right now. You guys rock. You already know. You guys are me familia. I'm telling you right now. You guys make the channel what it is. I appreciate you guys being here right now. And uh, I am off to go to uh, Mickey D's because it is about that time. So with that said, peace. I'm out.